joining me today. I'm Kaylee, I'm a homeschool mom of two, and today I'm going to share with you some of the ups and downs of our science curriculum choices for this year. If you have seen my curriculum choice videos, you will see that my seventh grader is taking a science class outside of our house with another homeschool mom, and so I just needed to figure out science for my fifth grader this year. And when I'm at the time that I made the curriculum choice video, at that I had not decided on anything. And um, so finally, um, at the beginning of the school year, I did give my daughter some choices, and she picked one. And um, but we started that, and then we've been some ups and downs with our science. So I'm going to share with you our choices what we've tried, what we've liked, what we haven't, and know that just because something doesn't work for us doesn't mean it won't work for you because maybe you like things in a different way than we do. I'm going to be honest, in our house science is generally the first thing to go when we run out of time or if it takes any kind of effort gathering supplies or anything of that nature. So. I had actually already had this book, which is Apologia, Young Explorer Series, Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics. I bought this book because many years ago I had got the Guest Hollow Curriculum Actions and Reactions, and I don't know if I had gotten it for free or it came in a bundle or what it was that I had when my kids were younger, but I bought this book as a spine to use with it. This is what they schedule as your main book and Guest Hollow uses a lot of other books and they have links to videos and all sorts of things with a schedule for you. And so Guest Hollow curriculum is basically just a schedule. They don't actually sell you the books. You find the books on your own, buy them or get them from the library. So this is what she decided out of the options that she wanted to do. So I bought this or well, I already had this, but I did buy her the student notebooking journal to go along with it. And I already had the guest hollow curriculum and I had a few of the beginning books for that. So we were going to use the guest hollow curriculum. I can tell you, unfortunately, this did not last very long in our house because this book has a ton of experiments and activities in it. Um, I would love to be that mom that does all the homeschool experiments, but I'm just not. <laughs> Anything that requires gathering supplies, I know there's supposed to be things that you already have around your home, but for some reason I don't have them around my home, and then I don't want to have to go to the store and spend money to buy stuff for one little project, and then have stuff left over that's just taking up space, causing clutter in the house. So I'm really bad about experiments. So in this book, all of the sections that say try this, all of these blue boxes are some kind of activity or experiment to do. And then it has reading after it, like what did you learn from this? And so I didn't get around to most of those. And so very quickly this got set aside and became not a priority because um, I just didn't want to have to deal with the experiments or trying to figure out how to um, skip over those. So we did not um, do a whole lot of science in the first semester because that didn't last very long for us. I do think that curriculum would be great. I just am not a fan of things that require a lot of experiments. So I decided to go back to master books, which is what we have used in the past, and it's been the most successful science in our house so far because the majority of it we can read, answer the questions, and while it does have activities in it, they are not required. So you can do them if you have time, but you don't have to. And so we had um, God's Design Life, and uh, God's Design for Life, which we did have already completed the world of plants and the human body. We did those sections, um, maybe, I can't remember if it was, it was a couple years ago when we did those. We did not do the world of animal section because we had done 
Masterbooks zoology curriculum um, relatively recently, so we skipped that section. But my daughter is really into animals. That is her favorite science topic to learn about. So I had actually let a friend borrow this, but I got it back in this beginning of this semester, we started in doing the world of animals. This is my favorite science curriculum so far because we can read and the lessons are really short. So the reading is not too much. And at the end of each chapter, it has questions about what did we learn? And it usually has some taking it further questions that might be a little bit more critical thinking or expanding on um, what you've learned wouldn't necessarily be something answered directly in the chapter. And then they all do have these blue boxes, which are also activities that you can do, but they are not required at all, I think, in order for them to learn the information. Also, if you do have older students, um, each lesson also has a green box with this little ribbon. And this is a challenge section. So older students do this, but my daughter is only in fifth grade, and so we are not uh, worrying about that section right now. Um, I do have the teacher's guide that goes with this that has um, worksheets and quizzes. Um, she just, uh, it mostly has the questions from the chapter. Um, so we just, she answers those and then sometimes does a little activity on the worksheets if there's an extra activity, a lot of times it's just the questions, so they're not always necessary to do with this. So this is what we're going to finish out with. We will finish this before the end of the school year because this splits it into three sections, so only this part of the book is animals. We do this three times a week, so we read a chapter out of here about three days a week. And so I really like this. This is probably my favorite science curriculum. but. I decided to also expand on my daughter's interest in animals. And last summer we did a Good and the Beautiful um, birds unit. And so I decided that we are going to do a mammals unit. Um, I found this for sale and so I picked it up. Um, it was new, but it was not at full cost. So I went ahead and got it because we did enjoy the birds unit last year. There are a couple things about this that uh, the biggest reason I'm not a uh, huge, like really super interested in using this every year is because the units plus the books that you can get alongside of them, which is something that we like to include because we always like to include as much reading as possible, um, it just gets expensive because each unit itself, you're going to spend 50 to $70 to get the um, unit that's printed plus uh, the books to read with it. Now you can get them in PDF, but then you have to also print them, so the cost of that. Um, so it just seems like a lot because you would need like at least four to six units per year to do the good and the beautiful um, science units for a complete year. So we are just doing this one kind of for fun and I probably will not continue doing other units unless I find one that's of particular interest that we really want to do or I find one that I can get for cheaper than full price. But this unit um, is, they have lessons um, that each have usually an activity and I separate it out into each lesson information into one uh, sheet protector and it has vocabulary words and mini books and all sorts of this is kind of like more hands-on so it's a little bit more fun probably than like just reading and answering questions like master books um, it has vocabulary cards that I did cut apart I am going to laminate them also um, and it I think it contains something like 14 lessons in this and each one tells you the supplies needed. So it does have more activities, but I feel like we can spread it out a little bit more because it's like an activity per lesson and we would only need to do one or two lessons per week. Um, so it's not the same as in the Apologia book where there were like so many experiments back to back to back. So this makes it a little bit easier and we will skip anything that requires like a lot of um, material or anything. 
Um, but we have enjoyed their curriculum. We enjoyed the birds unit. We did it kind of last summer. So we will pick this up whenever we finish the God's Design for Life and just kind of run with this and maybe um, go with it through the summer, just like maybe one lesson a week, just as some extra practice. Um, then I will decide um, what we are going to do for next year's science. I'm, of course, leaning master books because that has been the curriculum that we have been able to stick with the most just because it's convenience and just reading and answering questions. It's really easy. I also really like the um, biblical perspective that comes in master book science. I have learned so much because obviously I didn't have that background from coming from a public school in science and so I really enjoy seeing the evidence for a creation based uh, science. So I've really enjoyed that in all of the master books curriculum as well. If you have a favorite science that works in your house, let me know down below in the comments especially if you have something that's really great that doesn't require a lot of effort or experiments. I'd really like to blame my uh, inability to follow through with that on the fact that the last four years we had extra little ones in the house with foster care, but honestly I've been homeschooling for eight years and it hasn't, I've never been that mom. And even this past year when we didn't have a little one, I thought, that's why I went ahead and went with the guest hollow thinking that I could get through it because I don't have a little one now. I can commit to this and it still didn't happen any, any more likely than if we had a little one, although we did have a lot going on this year. Um, but I really do enjoy the master books. If you have something else that you suggest for science that isn't overly heavy on experiments, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. Thanks for watching.